Hello friends, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink with a new card using some new to me products. Uh, I got a package recently from Studio Kadia with some of her new stamps, a couple new accessories, some fun things. And of course, this big botanical high stamp set, which jumped right out at me. I was like, I have to use it. <laughs> so I pulled out some Strathmore watercolor paper and I put it in my Misty and then I lined up the stamp and I'm using my anti-static powder tool on the watercolor paper just to prevent the embossing powder from sticking to anything other than the stamped image. And then I'm inking up the stamp with VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink, and I'm going to ink this up and stamp this multiple times. This watercolor paper isn't super textured, but there's a lot of detail in this stamp, and I wanna make sure I get all the detail stamped, get a good solid impression. Once I'm happy with it, I'm going to coat this with uh, clear embossing powder. You don't have to do this. I just pretty much always, <laughs> I pretty much always want to heat emboss images before I do any sort of watercoloring because it makes my life easier. You know, I don't have to worry so much about things seeping outside the lines or, you know, one area bleeding into the next, all that sort of stuff, because the little bit of raised edge the heat embossing gives just keeps everything a little more contained. So I don't got to worry about it so much. So once it was coated with the embossed powder, melted that with my heat tool. And like I always do, I tilt it back and forth in the light because there's always little just, you'll notice like some areas will be shiny and then some areas look a little dull. If it looks dull, it's not fully melted. So hit it with a heat tool, melt that, it's good to go. So once everything was melted, I'm gonna use my Karen Brush Marker Pros to watercolor this. I haven't used mine in I can't even remember the last time I posted a video using these. I love them. Oh, before I get to that though, this was one of the new little products. This little heart shaped like microfiber, like chamois uh, that Studio Cadia released. I thought it was really cute, but I was like, oh, it's cute. Like whatever. Um, but I thought I would actually use it. So it's meant for cleaning your stamps. So I sprayed it with my favorite stamp cleaner, which I've mentioned in previous videos forever ago. It's the Ultra Clean uh, Stamp Cleaner. This will remove everything. My only peeve with Ultra Clean is it has a little bit of a, like almost like an oily residue. So the other side of this little chamois, I just sprayed with water and then wiped that across because that's normally what I would do when I use my Ultra Clean cleaner is I'll clean the stamp and then I just wipe it off with like a, a baby wipe or a cloth, you know, whatever. And it's good to go. This little chamois is convenient and it got right in there and cleaned everything off I'm definitely going to continue using it love it so that was a little stamp cleaning randomness so set everything aside and then I'm using my Karen brush marker pros and a little paintbrush this is just a royal and Langnickel zen size four I think I used um and also and I showed this actually in a haul video not too long ago this is the little collapsible water cup from studio Cadia. there's a purple one and then there's an aqua color one and of course i got both colors because i just love them and i like that it's got the little raised like um patterns on the bottom you can use that to really like clean out your brushes i didn't need that for this because i'm just barely dipping my brush into the water so the first little bit there was in real time of the coloring i just apply a bit of color with the marker and then i pull it out with the wet brush and that's it I'm not doing any layering or anything technical. The only thing I'm going to do a little bit later is with one of the greens, I'm going to mix like a green and an aqua color and that's it. Really simple. This just coloring with these reminded me why I really like these brush marker pros. They are really nice. <laughs> you can use anything for this. It doesn't, you know, there's so many different, um, watercolor markers out there. I've shown all sorts of different ones on my channel. I will say that these ones, the Karen ones, are definitely my favorite. They are the most saturated and vibrant and I don't know. I just I really like them and they work really well with this specific watercolor, like this just cheapo Strathmore watercolor paper. Um, I think they work well with Strathmore Bristol Smooth too. I'm not 100% sure. Again, it's been so long since I've used them. But for sure works really good with this one. So I just kept going along, coloring with the marker, 
and then pulling it out with my wet paintbrush. And then here's where I mix the two colors. This is the only like mixing I do. Everything else, it was just, you know, one color per section. I did remember to take a photo of the markers I used. I tried to like put the caps up so you guys can see the names, but I did take a photo of all the markers I used. I'll have that on my blog if you want to check it out. It honestly with an, with images like this, it's simple. You know, it's not like I'm doing like a special blend or anything like, you know, I do with Copics. So I went along, colored everything. And then for the actual like letters in this sentiment, I'm going to use the black marker, but I wanted to make it stand out more. So I took my clear uh, glitter gloss, like aqua shimmer pen that I show in a bajillion videos, usually to paint die cuts. Um, and I squeezed it onto just the packaging for the stamps. I've shown this in a ton of videos too. You don't need any sort of fancy palettes, like anything non-porous, like plastic packaging works great. So I squeezed that on there. I could have used just the brush itself, like the aqua shimmer pen, but this gives me a little more control. Plus, um, and then I also don't have to worry about the brush, like absorbing because this black, uh, Karen brush marker is pretty intense. So I did the same thing. I scribbled the marker onto the letter and then I was just swirling my brush in that aqua shimmer with a little tiny bit of water and painting. So it doesn't look like a whole lot right now, but of course at the end of the video, I will show you guys the sparkle. It just, and I also add glossy accents to it. So it's just fabulous. <laughs> so once I was done painting everything, let this dry, dried really quick. Once it was dry, I fussy cut this image. There is not a coordinating wafer dye for this set. Um, I was going to just like trim it down, you know, typical rectangle. But then I was like, ooh, if I use the pattern paper I've got and if I, you know, fussy cut this out, pop it up, you know, you know, every once in a while, I don't mind the fussy cutting. But if there is a coordinating wafer dye, I will use the wafer dye hands down. <laughs> so trim this out with my little cutter B scissors. And then um, the pattern paper, this is also was in the package, was uh, this black on white paper, which of course y'all know if you guys watch my videos, I'm a sucker for black and white paper. I had a hard time choosing which one to use. I was like, oh, any of these would work great. But I settled on the splatter paper because hello it's fabulous I like the size of this too this is like six by eight and a half so you can get two a2 card fronts from it yes like honeybee's doing this size now studio cotty has got the size like more companies like this should just become the standard in the card making industry instead of six by six paper it should just be six by eight and a half like this and you know you're 12 by 12 etc like let's get rid of the six by six honestly I we would get so much more use out of this so anyhow Anywho, I trimmed down the pattern paper and then I um, pulled a sentiment from that same stamp set and I had already used my anti-static powder tool on just this big scrap of black cardstock and then I stamped the sentiment with clear embossing ink, coated it with white embossing powder, melted that with my heat tool and then I just used my little microfiber cloth to wipe off all that anti-static powder and then I just use my trimmer again to trim this down into a little narrow sentiment strip. So once I got that um, trimmed down, I'm going to pull out my Misty again and my card base, which is going to be a top folding A2 size card. So I'm going to put my card base in my Misty. I'm going to line up that large floral image again. Once that's lined up, I'm going to stamp that onto the inside of the card with Simon's Cheeky Ink. So just a nice light pink kind of goes really well with the flowers I colored for the front of the card. So stamp that and then I'm just going to use that little that little heart chamois. I'm not going to respray. That's the other thing with Ultra Clean is because it is it's got that oil content, whatever's in it. Um you don't need to like keep spraying. Like whatever you've sprayed with whether it be a chamois like this or there's other, you know, different um chamois out there, cloth, whatever. Usually you spray it once and it's good to go multiple times, you know, so a bottle of this stuff lasts me forever. It's been years. It's been years. Anyway, cleaned off the stamp, stamped another sentiment from the set with Nocturne ink. And then I had also trimmed down just some pink cardstock to be slightly bigger than that pattern paper. 
adhered those together, adhered that to the card base. The uh, big floral image I coated with uh, the Studio Cadia foam tape, which I've mentioned in well every video. It is super, super sticky, like super sticky. That probably will drive some people nuts. I love it. <laughs> Once you know how to work with certain things and you find your ways to work with it, it doesn't bother me at all. So I just use my, like, my snips there that you can see. Those are the Tim Holtz ones with the Teflon coating. I use that to cut all my little sticky adhesive anything. And then I use the edges of my cutter B scissors to peel off the backing paper. Works great. Popped it into place. And then I popped the, sentiment, the little companion sentiment into place. And then, of course, some bling, which is uh, some hibiscus pearls and some rose pink pearls. Just, again, went perfectly with the little florals. So I'm going to adhere those into place. And then once everything is done and adhered, this is when I'm going to add the glossy accents. I haven't used gloss, glossy accents in forever either. Usually it's only because I'm so impatient. <laughs> and I don't have time. I'm always flying by the seat of my pants. I don't have time, you know, that sort of thing. But I was like, no, this just needs glossy accents. It just adds something. So I'm going to completely coat both of these letters with the glossy accents. It goes on and looks cloudy. It will dry completely clear and you'll be able to see the sparkle through it and it just gives it that you know that gloss and shine and then the sparkle from the aqua shimmer that's trapped in it it's oh, a chef's kiss just chef's kiss so coated that set it aside to dry to keep my fingers out of it because that's another reason why i don't use it very often because i'm really bad for like touching like is it dry yet <laughs> and then i wreck it <laughs> so got that dry and then here it is with my little flashlights. So you can kind of see that sparkle. Oh, love. So yeah, this was really fun to make. And I paired this card with one of Simon's Schoolhouse Red uh, metallic envelopes. So it's like shimmery as well. So it just kind of ties it all together. And like I said earlier in the video, I will have a link below the video to my blog post. I'll have all the info in the blog post, the pictures, the picture, the colors I used, uh, picture links to everything, all that stuff. You can check that out directly below if you're interested. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing, thumbs upping, commenting, all of it. I very much appreciate it. And I will see you all very soon in the next video. Bye.